hello today i'm here with a new video and today i am here with a new free looks one palette i am going to do a free looks one palette with the festival palette from juvia's place i put up a voting thing on my community tab when i want a new when i want a new palette to do a free palettes one look with and this one and the flare palette from Ace BJ got the same amount of votes and had it for a long time but then this came up first but I'm doing a free looks one free looks one palette with this first and then I'm going to do with a flare palette. The palette looks like this if you didn't know and I love the packaging of this. So I'm just going to hop in to my first look and I will leave all the timestamps down in the description if you only want to see one of the looks or maybe the review. So yes, it is coming a review part in the end of this video. So yeah, I think we just hop into this so this video doesn't get too long. Okay, so for the first look with the festival palette from Yves Place, I want to do something that I love. I'm going to do a red smoky eye so I am like only using red some other colors but this red is one of the best reds I know. So I'm going to start with this one in my crease. I really really like this palette but I think it's the one palette from US Place I use the least and I don't know why. It feels like not a lot of people like this, but I don't think it's any wrong with the quality at all. Do you see this shade? I love this. So I'm really taking this all over my crease. Pretty high up because that's how I do things on my channel. And I really feel that I want to do my Free Looks One palettes a little bit shorter because they are usually like the longest videos. So yeah, but I like don't know how I am going to be able to do them shorter. I have no idea. Maybe if I don't talk that much. So something like that and then I'm going to take this red amazing shade and put it all over my lid and that's like all it's like one of my absolute favorite reds i wish that us place did more red shades because they do amazing red shades i'm taking it a little bit up in my crease as well And I'm going to try to use brushes that I don't use that much this year or next year. It is the last days of 2019 when I'm filming this, but this is coming up in 2020. 2020. And this, I don't know why I don't use this brush. This is from Real Techniques. This is a base shadow brush and it is good. Okay, so just something like this, and I took this pretty high up. I love to like take my shadows super high up. And I know that is not like everybody's style, but I guess it's my style then. And I actually think that I want to go with the lid, lids like this, so just red. I know it looks a little bit crazy now, but I promise you it will look better when I have brows and everything on because now it's just super red eye. So yeah, I actually think that I am going with the lids like this. Maybe I should... No, I will just go with the lids like this. This red is so, so nice. So I will <laughs> fix my base and my brows. And then I will come back and guess what? We are going to do a red underneath the eyes too. But I think I want to do something little in my inner corner so it's not just red. So I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back. 
So for my unright, I'm going with the same two shades. So I will start with this one and like smoke it out and then take this red closest to my lash line and I know that maybe red isn't the best color to have around your eyes because you maybe look a little bit ill do you know what? I love it And then I go in with a smaller brush to take the red one and just take it closest to my lash line. So and then for my inner corner I will go in with this one and just put it there and I think I want to spray it and I just want something not to have it like all red and matte so something is happening at least and the one thing I love about this it's like it looks pretty like white in the pan but it's not so like that and I will put on mascara and a lippy and I think I maybe want to go all in with red. I have to check a little bit in my drawer but I will fix that and then I come back with the finished first look. So this is the finished look for my... Do I have lipstick on my teeth? No I don't. For my waterline I took Exit by the Colourpop that is supposed to be white but I had like a little of red eyeshadow in my waterline so it became like I don't know but I like it for my lips I took if star and many MAs I'm shook and yeah this is the look so for this first look I used this this and this so three colors for this first look and I actually think I know what I want to do for the other two looks not 100% sure, but I am pretty sure. And I really like this look, but I love <laughs> red, as you may know, so that's maybe why. So yeah, I hope you like this first look, and if you want to see the other two, just keep on watching. So, it's time for look number two, and I living the dangerous life right now, because I have done my foundation, so... Yeah, I'm testing out a new foundation, that's why. So, we will see how this go. Um, I hope I doesn't get too much fallout, so I will maybe be a little bit more careful than I'm usually or am. So it's time for the second look with a festival palette and I am going in with this shade that I used in the first look as well and I'm going to take this in my crease. So now I'm going to tap everything off just so I don't get any fallouts. so afraid. I usually never do my base first and that is because I usually get shit tons of fallouts. Maybe if I'm trying to be a little bit more careful maybe it goes better then. And maybe it wasn't the right choice to take this in my crease. It was done is done and if you're wondering about my lips I also done a swatch video tested out some new lippies and I got lipstick on my finger I see now <sighs> so messy and my tripod for my camera is almost giving up on me right now so I have to like set the camera where it can stand without falling and then I just have to move myself instead so I'm sitting like a little peanut maybe I can do that maybe that's better okay and then I'm going in with this pink shade and now I, I think I just should have taken the pink in my crease only the pink but I'm going in with pink over this shade that I don't know what color it is 
Okay, maybe this is working. So just taking this in my whole crease and I'm trying to take the most of it in here. And now it feels like you don't even see the shade that I have underneath. This happens sometimes. And okay, this annoys me, the crap out of me. <laughs> this lipstick, but I will fix that later. Okay, so for my lid, I am first going to take this grayish blackish dark shade and put this on my outer corner the outer half and i am so afraid for fallouts with this so i'm tapping 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 and i have done a video with this palette where i used all shades in this palette and I actually think I pulled that look off I was like so nervous at the beginning but I actually think I did it I will leave the video up in the corner and do I have fallouts? yes I have fallouts how? how can people do their base? And then do eyeshadow. And the worst thing, I haven't, I only test foundation today, so I haven't put down any concealer. So, okay, I will try to fix that later. I know that this would happen. Maybe I can cover the fallout with concealer. Yeah, because that's a thing you do. Okay, and this doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to cut, do a half cut crease at some, at some point in uh, this life. One thing I don't like about UV's place is the palettes doesn't have a mirror. I like when palettes have mirrors. Okay, and now I'm going to do a cut crease and I'm using glitter glue. And the person that came up with like this, that I saw it first with this cut crease was Betty Jean and I love to do this and I never cut my crease with concealer anymore because I think this is so much easier to handle. And then I'm going in with the right brush. I'm going in with this blue one where I have cut the crease so I just have to do it before this dries down and start to acting weird. Trying to have my things somewhere. And I got fallout from this as well. Fuck. I'm just going to go in a little bit with the black grey that one and just fix the edge a little bit. I don't know what I think about my cut crease. It's, it's not that good. Cut it? Cut it. Okay, I will fix the other eye. Try to do something about the fallouts. I hope I can cover it with powder and concealer. I really hope because now it's not looking good at all. So I will fix that, do my other cut crease, fix the rest of my base, put on some highlighters and stuff, and then I come back and we do the under eyes together. Okay, I think I 
could save a little bit of the fallouts. Not all and my nose looks not good. So for my eyes, I just think I will go in with this pink one and take it the whole way. Maybe take, try to take a little bit of this gray with it just out here so it looks more cohesive maybe. Okay, so I actually think I will go in with just a tiny tiny bit of the gray and just put it out here to connect them. The only thing I really don't like is here it's the blue is like cut off. Can I just go in with you? No, I am not even going to try to fuck this up even more. So I will put something in my wash line, put on mascara and Try to choose a lip for this and then I come back with a finished second look for this free looks one palette. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Insomniac from Colourpop. For my lips I used a little soft matte lip cream from NYX and this is in the color Sao Paulo. And okay, one thing I don't like about having pink on my eyes and pink on my lips is I think I look like an like I live in the 1980s. I don't like that look. But okay, for this second look I have used um, these four colors. So yeah, I, I like this look but I don't know why I did go with pink lip because nope. And I don't know about like the savings underneath my eyes. Not the best work I have done. This is why I never should do my base first. Note to myself. But yeah, this was the second look. I really hope you liked it. I don't think this is going to be my favorite look of these three looks, even though I don't have done the last one yet. So yeah, if you want to see the last look, just keep on watching. So it's time for look number three with the festival palette from Juve's Place that looks like this and I haven't used these three shades and I'm going to use them today and I know exactly what I want to do and if you have been here for a while I think you know what I'm going to do because it's one thing this far this video is missing so yeah so okay I am going to start with this one, that is one of my favorite shades in this palette, and I have chipped mirror. And if you don't know what I'm doing, I am of course doing a halo eye. And I love my halo eyes, and I really need to pluck my eyebrows, I see now. But I really, really love doing halo eyes. So that's what, that is what we are doing today. And I really hope that this shade goes good as an halo eye. I'm actually not sure. So I will go in with this one and put it on my outer and inner corners. So out here. I hope I didn't have any black. Did I have black left on this? The struggle with only using the same brushes all the time and not be good at cleaning them. This brush I usually don't use that much but it is a really good brush. This is shading brush from Real Techniques. Just out here. And maybe for once I maybe can do a halo eye that isn't like too much if I just stop here it may be being okay 
Now I'm going to try to do the same on the other eye. This is not even like at all, but I think we just go with this. I was thinking to use a glitter glue for my halo, but right now I'm not sure. I think I will try without any glitter glue. So I will go in with this one. Usually US Place shadows are really good and I think this works without the glitter glue. I was a little bit afraid that this halo eye was going to look a little bit strange because I thought that this shimmer shade was going to be so much darker than the orangey red but I think this is pretty okay and I always when I do <laughs> when I film these free looks I'm trying to look at the mirror in this palette it is no mirror here, so can I please stop do that? And I maybe didn't have to tell you that I'm a little bit not that smart sometimes. And I'm just going over with the brush. Okay, I think I like this. I think this may be my favorite look with this palette. Now like, what did I did in the first look? Yeah, I did a red, red eye. But I think this is my favorite look this far. This far, this is the last look. This is my favorite look, I think. Even though I am not finished with it yet, but almost. Okay, I really like these eyes and this went pretty fast I think so yeah I'm going to take away the fallouts fix my base and fix my brows a little bit and then I come back and we do the under eyes and then I will hop into my review about this palette and tell you what I've my thoughts about it so yeah I will fix base and brows and then I come back Okay, so time for the under eyes and I actually think I want to do like a halo eye under my eyes as well. So I will start with the with the orangey red shade and take it out here. Maybe something like that. And then I'm going in with a shimmer shade and I I think I will try without spraying it first because it is very, it's a really good shimmer as normal when it comes to US Place. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadow. I will put on mascara, something in my waterline and take a lipstick to this and then I come back with the third look with the festival palette. So this is the finished look for my wash line. I used Dirty Talk from Colourpop. I love this and for my lips I took Better Off also from Colourpop and yeah this is absolutely my favorite look with this Free Looks 1 palette. I really like it. I really like a halo eye and this feels like a pretty toned down halo eye or does it? I don't know. So yeah, I think we just hop into the review part of this. So if we start with the review and we can start with the packaging of the palette. This is one of my absolute favorite packaging of UVS Place palette. The one thing I really love is that it is red and orange. I love that. And also I really like the black background. And this is... An amazing palette. I really like this but I don't use it that much. I have said it like a hundred times in this video it feels like. But I think it's really really good and I don't think that this have any shade that isn't good. Um, so yeah this is nine pans as you can see and it has four shimmers and five mattes. My absolute favorites of this palette is this one and this one and I think actually this one this looks white but it has like a 
little hint of pink and of blue. I don't really know what, but it's a really nice shade and I love it as an inner corner and I think it would look amazing as a highlight as well. The sh other shimmer shades the other shimmer shades work so good. This one that I have in this look, I don't have any glitter glue under this, I just have my normal eyeshadow base and it works amazing. I think it would pop even more if I would have a glitter glue underneath, but I don't think I need it. And also these two are so good. One thing I really like about this grey one is it is a shimmer, but it is blendable and I love shimmers like that. So you can use it in the crease if you want to. So that is really good and that I think is pretty common when it comes to this place that you can blend the shimmers without it disappearing. Love it so much. And I think the layout of this is good and I think all the shades goes well in the palette. Maybe this blue I am not like super... I like the shade but maybe I don't love it that much. But I have nothing against it and it goes so good with both this one and with this one. So yeah, I really like this palette and if you have f thinking about buying it I think you should if you like the colors. It has the same amazing quality as U.S. Place usually have, so I can really recommend this. And if you have this in your collection and you don't use it, just take it out and play with it because it is so fun to do that. So yeah, that was all for my free looks one palette with a festival palette from U.S. Place. Which look did you like the most? I love this look. This is absolutely my favorite. Then the first look and the second look is... In the bottom for me. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!